Hi, I'm Lotti. Welcome to day 15 of your 24 days of Pilates challenge. I hope you're feeling good. Today we're going to do the Pilates sequence that's going to really get into your obliques and your waist. So really great muscles to work for the core and, and let's get started. So we're going to come onto all fours. So just bring your hands down underneath your shoulders. And we're going to just start with a little hover just to get into our abdominals before we start working more into the waist and obliques. So your hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. We're going to take a deep breath in, really filling out the sides and back of the ribs. And as you exhale, we just press through those palms, hover those knees, drawing in through your abdominals. And as you inhale, gently down. Good, let's do one more like that. So connecting, drawing in, gently hover. Just an inch or two, not too much. And then down. Good, now I want you to bring your knees and feet together and we're gonna do the same thing, twice through. So little hover, we inhale, prepare, exhale, we hover the knees, but the knees are together, we're squeezing them together. And then we place them down at the same time. Draw those shoulders down the back. We've got one more. We're gonna hold this one and we're gonna do a little twizzle. So your knees will just go to the side, back down to the floor, to the side. And I'm just twizzling on my feet and you're firing up through your abdominals, through your waist, getting into this lovely rotation. This little twizzle to the side. Try and keep your shoulders nice and stable and drawing down away from those ears. This lovely little twizzle in. <laughs> it's quite a funny word, isn't it? Good, and then we're going to come back to the center. We're gonna gently bring those knees down. Good, have a little rest. We're gonna take it through a little bit more now. We're gonna do that same side to side, but we're gonna add one leg off, the leg underneath off. So. Let's come back into it. Let's find those all fours. So legs together for me. Squeeze these ankles together. Lift, draw your tummy in, lift. So you twizzle. You're gonna take that underneath foot off and reach it out, okay? Bring it back, turn to the other side. Twizzle, reach the underneath leg out. Bring it back. So you can touch the floor, that's fine, to reach it to the floor. Bring it back. It's quite tough to try and get it through. I can already feel my sides having to work. Good, now you can maybe bring it through, take one arm off, and then bring it back. Legs together, other side. Take one arm up, legs together. We're gonna go four. Good, we're gonna go three. Well done, you're gonna go two. Whew, you've got it. Good, and we're gonna go last one. And we're coming back to the center, bringing those knees down. Well done, have a little rest off those wrists. And we're gonna come into a little side section now. So just coming onto your elbow, onto one side. We're gonna extend the top leg out and we're gonna reach the top arm up alongside our ear. So we're just checking that we're not sinking into this stabilizing shoulder. Draw the shoulder away from your ear, draw it down feeling through that center line. Now we're gonna go knee to elbow. So find that reach, find that length, keep this space. We're gonna go for 10, 10, knee to elbow, nine, good, eight. So you're just feeling into this top side, but lifting on this underneath side. So anything that's in side line, I think is always really great to find that lift and work. Good, we're gonna go five, Four, reaching, three, reaching, two, reaching, last one, reaching out. Now we're gonna keep the top leg straight and we're gonna do 10 more. Up and down, 10, nine, so a little bit more. Eight, reaching that leg, seven, keep lifted, six, breathe out, five, four, make sure you're checking this shoulder is stable, three, Good job, two, reach, 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 reach. Last one, and we're coming all the way down now onto that side completely. Legs out nice and straight, but just a little bit in front of the body. Check the hips are nice and level. Underneath side of the waist is lifted. We're gonna do our little double leg raise, our torpedo. So lift and lower, reach and lengthen and down. Good, shoulders away from the ears, reach and lengthen, 
and lower. Good. Keep that tailbone lengthening under. Feel through the front. Don't let your back arch. Good. Maybe using this top hand just to help you balance or you can chest test yourself and lift that top arm up. So depending on how that balance is feeling today, sometimes it can change. Good. Four more. Three. Well done. Two. Reach, reach, reach out through those legs. Lengthen, 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 lengthen. Last one. And lower those legs down. Cool. Now let's come onto the back. And we will do the other side, but we're just going to do a little oblique section here on the back. So stretch your legs out to a little bit wider than the mat. Oh no, sorry. A little bit wider than the hips, but not wider than the mat. Slightly turned out. Let yourself settle. We're going to bring right hand behind the head, left arm up alongside the ear, right leg is going to lift, and we're going to curl up and try and reach for that foot. Up and down. So this arm's coming across to reach towards that foot, and we're doing a little reach over that way, okay? We've got eight on each side. Eight, keeping those hips level, control it back. Seven, reaching through that leg. Now, modification, you can always bend the knee, bring it in five, or keep that leg straight. You've got four, up and across. You've got three, reach into those toes. We've got two, controlling it down. We've got one, and changing sides. Left hand behind the head. We've got eight, up and across. Try not to rock and roll. Reach in on that diagonal. Six, remember, modify, you can bring that knee in. Five, breathe out, four, Keep pressing through the other side. We've got three more. Three, two, up and over to that foot. Last one, and bring it down. Good job, okay, so let's come up. Let's do a little roll up, just so that we're really working through that center line as well. Up and over those legs, and then we're gonna come to the other side. So just swing the legs around or face the other way, and we're gonna come into that elbow to knee on the other side as well. So we've got that elbow down underneath the shoulder, top leg is reaching out, top arm is reaching. We bring knee to elbow. Good, lengthening out through that waist, finding reach. Try not to collapse on that shoulder, remember. Good, six, five, four, keeping that top hip forwards, three, trying not to collapse down, two, and one, now we keep the legs straight, we go eight, seven, six, reach, five, breathe out, four, good job, three, reach, two, keep those ribs connected, last one, and well done. Let's come all the way onto that side. Both legs out straight now, and we're coming into our double leg raise. So squeeze those legs together slightly in front of you. Lengthen on both sides of your waist, the same length. Gather those ribs in, lift those legs, and lower. Maybe pop that hand in front of you just to check you're really coming from that midline, from those abdominals, drawing in. Trying not to arch the lower back. Find more reach and length through both legs. Good, you've got four. Well done, you've got three. Good, you've got two, reach and lengthen in. And you've got one, reach, 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 reach. Find more length, maybe find a little balance. And reach those legs down. Good, we're coming onto the back. We're gonna go into a little crisscross and then we're coming back to all fours. So, a lovely, we can't not work our crisscross if we're gonna focus on the obliques today. So reach those arms up. Now, first of all, let's just go into our lovely prep that I like to do. So we're curling up, right knee comes in. We're gonna to reach top hand on front, <laughs> front, back hand over the front, cross it over. I don't really know what that, the words just didn't make sense there, did they? But we are curling up and over, you know what I mean. We're holding that leg and we're gonna just twist over to that side. So we're breathing there, opposite shoulder to hip. I want you to try and hold the height of that twist. So you've got that right side coming down to the right hip, the left one coming up and over. Hold that as you bring the hands back behind the head, place the foot down, lower the head back. 
Okay, other side, curl up and over to the left. Let's try and get this right. Your hand, your opposite hand comes over on top of the thigh and then the other one comes under and you keep your hips still but you twist over to that side. You breathe on that rotation. You're feeling that opposite shoulder coming across to that opposite hip. Hold that as your hands come back behind the head. Bring it to the center, come down. Now we're gonna find that as we go into crisscross. So lift those legs, nod your chin towards your chest and we're gonna go up and over on those obliques, reaching across and across, breathing out, breathing in. Good, finding that rhythm. We've got eight, seven, six, well done. Five long legs, four, reaching through, three, good, two, keep the pelvis still, one, come to the center, place the feet down. Now right hand to right foot, we did this before. Left hand to left foot, we're going into that little side reach. Try not to let the knees or hips move as you go for eight and seven. Keeping the tips of the shoulders off, you've got six. You've got five, reaching, you've got four. You've got three, over, you've got two. Keep those knees still, you've got one. Bring it to the center and down. Oh, well done everyone. Let's come around onto all fours when you're ready. So we're coming into just a little bit of all fours and a plank. Okay, so we're coming around here. So we're gonna go, drawing in through the abdominals. Now right leg is gonna come out to the side and it's gonna go out, come in and down, okay? Gonna do 10 on each side. I said right, but we're gonna do left. So take it to the side, extend it out, bring it in, bring it down, okay? Here we go, find that long neutral spine. Here we go, we go nine. Good, finding that balance. Lift, extend, so you're not letting yourself sink over the other way. Try and keep in the middle of your mat, working into these hips as well as the waist, as the obliques. Five, you've got it. Four, don't worry if that leg's not high. Three, try not to hold the breath. Two, good, last one. And we're coming into cross mountain climbers. You've got right, you've got left, you've got right across the body, and 10, and nine and eight, and seven, and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees down for the other side. Right leg goes to the side. Extends out, comes in and down. You've got it, breathe. Five, four, three, keeping in the center. Connect again, you've got two. Try not to rush, last one. And down, we're coming back into those crosses. So draw your feet back, pull in. We've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And I want you to lift up and back. Good job, guys, I know that's tough. Press that mat away, reach out through the sit bones. Breathe into that spine. Lengthen those hips up, soft through those knees. And then just gently bring your knees down to the mat. Let's just take a little child's pose side stretch. So knees a little bit wider than the hips. I want you to turn to one leg and just walk down that side. So a little stretch through the ribs on one side. And then walk your hands to the center, to the other side. Just a little side stretch there. Breathing into the side of the ribs, the lateral stretch, grounding through the pelvis. And walk those hands back to the center and we'll slowly roll up. Well done. I hope you enjoyed that one today, everyone. I will see you again tomorrow. Just let me know how you're getting on in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then just make sure you do and um, hit subscribe and I will love to see you again on the mat soon. Bye.